Welcome back to my 1928. In today's video, we'll discuss collar clips, collar bars, and collar pins. Collar clips, collar bars, and collar pins all serve a very similar function in that they pull the collar together and they elevate the tie knot. As you can see here, there's a little bit of a gap just behind the tie knot uh, because of that bar right here. Uh, without that bar, the tie would just lay flat against your shirt. Uh, they differ, however, in the manner by which they are attached to the collar. Uh, so the first one, a uh, collar clip, uh, like what I'm wearing right here, attaches through a very uh, a method similar to that of a paper clip, in that you just have the two pieces of metal and they just pinch on to the collar. There's another type of collar clip which actually has little springs on either side. Uh, they're really easy to get on, uh, but sometimes uh, some of the companies that, that make them, uh, the springs are not very strong, and so they don't clip onto the collar very well, and they shift throughout the day. Uh, so again, with collar clips, you have the, the spring loaded, and then just the paper clip style that just pinches on to, uh, to the collar. Next, we have collar pins. And as the name implies, it really is just a giant safety pin. It looks nice, uh, but the big the drawback with uh, the collar pins is that there has to be holes in your collar. Now you can either spend a little bit of money and have uh, holes stitched into the collars of your shirts, or uh, when you decide to wear the collar pin, you just poke holes into the collar. Uh, if you do mess with the fabric a little bit after you take the collar pin out, um, they do tend to go back. Uh, but I'm, if you're like me and you're on a budget, the idea of poking a hole into your clothing is not very, is not very appealing. So I do not wear these as often. Next we have the collar bar, and it really is just a barbell. Uh, the ends untwist, and um, it does require you to have the pre-stitched pinholes in your shirt, so that's a bit of a drawback. But assuming you have those holes uh, stitched into your collars, you just untwist one of the ends, slide it through, twist it back, and it'll stay in place all day. So we've discussed several different collar accessories today. The clip, the bar, and the pin. Equally as important as knowing how to put those on is knowing which collar styles will properly host those accessories. So behind me, I have uh, a few different collar styles. Uh, this one, really common in the shops right now, is a spread collar. And while it is a nice style, especially if you're wearing a bulkier or heavier tie knot, this is not suitable for wearing uh, a collar clip, bar, or pin. What we need is something with a more classic style, something with a more defined uh, collar point. So something like this. Now, if you find a shirt that you like, that you think, okay, this may work for uh, one of my collar pins or bars. Um, this is a little trick that I like to use, especially if I'm in a rush or if I'm not able to try the garment on. So take your thumb and forefinger on the top button, pull it out and lift it up. And what this does is this shows how the collar is going to sit on my frame. Um, because the, the hanger itself is so flat, you don't get the appropriate dimension. And doing this shows what it would look like if someone were wearing it, if you were wearing it. And this one, as you can see, uh, comes together nicely. There's very limited space in between um, each side of the collar. So that says this will support not only um, a nice tie knot, but this is also going to support several different sizes of collar accessories. So keep this little trick in mind next time you're shopping for a collar and uh, hopefully that will help you to pick out the right shirt for your collar accessories.
I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to leave your uh, comments and questions below. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.